armed and dangerous. Suspect wanted in five cases in Hillmont area. 211, an attack. Don Keeler, 328 Bentley Drive. That's right. Well, my husband must have ordered something. Come in, please. Okay. Put it right there. Wait, just a minute. Here you are. Thank you. Come. Have a nice day now. Thank you. Nothing so far. Hey, what are you doing? Freeze. Police. What? Hold it. Don't move. Okay, now turn around. Hey, would you... Would you tell me what's going on, please? That's his ID. What about that lady he was delivering to, Mrs. Keeley? We talked to her, no problem. Check his truck? Yeah. Nothing, no loot, no weapon. Of course, we didn't go through the wrap package. Right. Miss, you could take those cuffs off now. Huh? Right. Mm -hmm. Did you impound the vehicle? Yep. Good. Get a search warrant from the lieutenant, will you? So you can search those packages. Yep. Give him his rights? We did. OK. Thank you. Sit down, sit down. What's your name? Andy Coleman. Andrew Henry Coleman. Did you understand the rights as explained to you by the officers? Yeah, sure. Do you wish to give up your right to remain silent? Look, I, I'll tell you guys anything you want, but what is going on? In a minute. Do you wish to give up the right to speak to an attorney and have him present during questioning? A lawyer? Yeah, a lawyer. Look, I don't need a lawyer. I didn't do anything. You understand anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law? Yeah, I understand. I understand. What is this all about? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Looks like me. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> but it couldn't be me. Why not? Look, I know what this is. This is what you guys draw when you're looking for a guy in the run, right? But I'm not on the run. I didn't do anything. You got the wrong guy. That's the man. Second from the right. The one dressed how? Brown shirt and pants. Where did you find him? Who? That one. The third from the left. The first one, over there. What about him? Looks a lot like him. But it's not. Your attacker used a knife, right? Mm -hmm. Four-inch blade? But you don't see the man here? Mm -mm. Not here. I sure would like to get the swine. That one, that's not him. Mrs. Warren, is your attacker in this lineup? On the end, on the right, he's the last one. Are you positive? Yes. Stay in line, step forward when your name is called.
Case number 28145, Clement J. Harrison. That's your true name? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yes, sir. I waive the reading, Your Honor. Preliminary hearing, May 4th, Division 106, 2 p.m. District Attorney recommends $1,500 bail. I'm Liam Price, Public Defender's Office. Your mother called us to represent you. Okay with you? Yeah, sure. Listen, something's wrong. I didn't do any of those things they said. Relax. First thing is to get you out of here, then we'll go into everything, okay? Andrew Henry Coleman. Is that your true name? Yes, sir. Wave the reading, Your Honor. Preliminary hearing will be in Division 102, May 18th, 9 a.m. The district attorney recommends $20,000 bail. Your Honor, we request a reduction to $5,000. This young man lives with his widowed mother and school-aged sister, and although Mrs. Coleman does have a modest pension adequate for the family's needs, Andy is self-supporting and is a part-time student. Moreover, Your Honor, this is his first offense. What say the people? Well, Your Honor, the complaints indicate the commission of multiple felonies. There is a repetitive pattern here which must not be ignored. Now, if Coleman is allowed in the streets, the community itself would still be in danger. Your Honor, I'm innocent. This is just the arraignment. You'll have a chance later to enter a plea. Mr. Ritchie, the defendant's entitled to a reasonable bail. Reasonable. I find your recommendation excessive. Bail is set at $10,000. Now, don't let me down, son. You better turn up on the 18th. Yes, sir. Your timesheet shows no deliveries that day between 3 and 4.30. How come? I don't know how come. Maybe I got caught in traffic. Maybe I stopped for coffee. Maybe you stopped to knock over Mrs. Brownlee, huh? What do you say, Swifty? No, I didn't. Wow, I didn't even know they were making a tape. How did you get a hold of that? I made a discovery motion. They had it come up with everything. So... So... What do you say about all this, Andy? I didn't do those things. I know it looks bad, and I... I can't account for most of those times, but I'm innocent. Okay. You say you're innocent? That's it, then. We plead not guilty. Just like that. What do you mean? You believe me. I'm your lawyer. Hey, I'll do the best I can for you. No! It's nothing. It's nothing. Good thing they were empty. Honestly, the way my hands are, I can't hold on to anything. I'm sorry, Mom. It's not your fault. Did I say it was your fault? Um, what's, uh, what's, what's on TV? Cops and robbers. Sorry. Mom. Hmm? You believe I'm innocent, don't you? Of course. Andy, knock off, will you? Something weird's going on. Mr. Price will figure it out. You said you like him. Yeah, yeah, but what if he can't figure it out? I mean, I could go to jail for, I don't know, 10, 20 years for something I didn't do. That won't happen. The only thing is... The only thing is what? Let, 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 let me be honest. Mom. It looks so bad. Three women identified you, Andy. One could surely make a mistake, but three... What am I to think? Andy! She didn't mean it. She's just upset. I don't care how upset she is. All this time, she was just going through the motions, pretending she had faith in... Andy, no. Well, she's got a point, huh? I mean, it looks so bad. I don't care how it looks. You couldn't have. You just... couldn't. <laughs> Andy. 
I'm scared. Don't be scared, Jen, huh? Just stick with me. Don't be scared. How are you, Eddie? Huh? Okay. You okay? Yeah. All right. Don't worry about it, sir. Don't worry about it, all right? Something I want you to know, just in case, all right? Now, usually in a case like this, when one complainant is on the stand, yeah. we have the right to keep the others out of the courtroom so they don't pick up on each other's stories. Understand that? Yeah. Right, but in this case, I want them here. Why? Tell me. I don't, I don't know about these things. It's a gamble. It could backfire, but uh, now you're the defendant. You can overrule me if you want to. No, no, no. You're my lawyer. Anything you say. Good, good, boy. Good, good, good. Everyone, please rise. Division 102 of the Municipal Court is now in session. The Honorable Arthur K. Howell, Judge, presiding. Please be seated. Morning, Mr. Kirby. Uh, I don't know of any painless way to say this. I have to let you go. Fired. You say I'm fired? It sure wasn't my decision. The manager leaned on me, and I guess he has his reasons. Look at it from the company's point of view, Andy. You're making deliveries to housewives. Their husbands are at work, the women are alone. You've had your picture all over the papers. You think I did what it says in the papers? Nah, I don't believe it, but, uh, well, it's what the customers think, right? So what can I do? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got your severance pay. They didn't want to, but I made them. Thanks, Mr. Kirby. <laughs> 